Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial on SolidWorks tips and tricks. So in today's tutorial, I will show you how to use this cool feature in SolidWorks, which is called pack and go. So let's say if you have a assembly file uh, right now, as you can see, I have a shock absorber. It has some parts. I have like four or five parts and you want to change the name of the parts. So typically you can do it in the folder, basically the Windows Explorer folder, but it will take a lot of time and effort. So for that, the SolidWorks has given us a very quick tool, which we can use to rename the files. Um, so let's say if we have a large number of files in an assembly, you can do it very easily. So all you have to do is go to file, go to pack and go. Now you have this dialog box which uh, shows the name and the folder respectively. Now the first thing which you need to do here is you need to create a folder. So I have already created a folder on desktop which is empty. So I will use this folder. <clears throat> I will use this folder uh, once the rename is done. So pack and go select folder now what we have to do is we have to change the name from here so let's start from here all you have to do is come to save to name and double click now you have the option to edit your name let's change this one to just base okay just the top rod right only the spring only the nut top rod okay now let's keep it one okay once you are done with it just save it and now if i go to my folder desktop pack and go you can see all the names have been changed accordingly so this pack and go feature is very useful if you have like a lot of parts in an assembly and you just want to rename them or let's say you forgot to name them in the beginning and now you want to uh, give a proper naming to your parts uh, that's that's how you can use the pack and go feature in solidworks very helpful very easy that's it for this video if you have any doubts comment down below and make sure you like the video thank you so much guys peace